Hi, some of you may know me, most of you probably don't. My name's Bob, and this is All Things Bob TV. Okay, so it's demonstration time. Today we're gonna to use the things that I talked about in my last couple of videos, which is the Tascam IXZ, we're gonna use the MTSR app on the iPhone, and we're gonna use some AKG K44 closed back headphones. What I'm not gonna to do today is use the IXZ with its XLR socket, because that works on the assumption that you've got a microphone with an XLR lead on it. So I'm gonna just use the quarter inch jack in the middle, and we're gonna record an acoustic guitar and vocals, but using just the microphone that's built into the phone itself. This is about doing this as cheaply as you can with what you've got to hand. The only thing really you need to add to the equation is that, which is about 35, 40 pounds you can get them for now. I paid a little more than that. And these particular headphones you can get for 25 or 30 pounds now, AKG K44s, but any closed back headphones. A couple of things to note before we start with regards to the app itself. First of all, you need to set the metronome, assuming you want to play with the metronome. To get the metronome, you need to push the button at the bottom there, with the one next to the pause button, which is a set of options, looks like a little folder. You'll get a set of options come up. You'll see one there that says metronome. And when it comes to setting up the metronome tempo, you can either tap, so I want it at this speed. I know that I need to record this at around 150 BPM, so I've typed that in manually at the top there. Now I'm just gonna hit the record button here without plugging the headphones in, and you'll hear the metronome. Now I don't know if you picked up on that, but there was a little skip there, and this is part of the problem with the metronome that's built into this thing. So what I'm gonna suggest is that you record your first track preferably a rhythm track to the metronome and then disregard the metronome, switch it off. Like I say, there are other apps out there, but we're going for this one because it's free and I want to do this as cheaply as we can. Something to look out for on the app itself. You see there in track one, which is the one I'm recording, it's picking up that metronome sound. It's actually registering on screen. Now that's because my headphones are set too loud. It's not the mic that's picking it up from the headphones, it's the, this is the leak, the bleed issue that I talked about in my last video, where the sound is coming out and back in because this socket is not designed for recording clean input signals. So the way to defeat that is you can keep your input as high as you like, but turn your headphones down using the button on the side until it stops registering on screen. Today I'm gonna to record an acoustic guitar, rhythm part. I'm gonna play a lead part on an electric guitar, and then I'm gonna put down a vocal, possibly two. So the acoustic I'm gonna record purely through the microphone on the bottom of the phone, here. You need to keep a fair bit of distance between the phone and your guitar, otherwise you'll just get overloaded signal. You, you can actually see on here um, how, how much signal is coming in. If it goes into the red, then the recording is probably no good. Um, it's gonna be very, very distorted and noisy. So try and keep a bit of distance between your acoustic guitar and your phone. Um, make sure that it stays green, maybe yellow occasionally, but try and keep it in the green in terms of that signal coming up. Uh, the other thing I would suggest is that you don't point, point the phone directly at the guitar. You tend to get a lot of clicking from your from your pick if you do that. So try and aim the phone sort of slightly off to one side of your guitar. I'm going to also record uh, my Telecaster. I'm going to record a lead part. Now the lead you could plug straight in to here, but if you want to add some kind of effect, you can. I'm going to be putting a um, a bit of chorus onto this. Now the only downside with this particular app is that you there is no monitor built into it. You can't hear the sound that you're putting in until you've done it. You need to record it and then when you play it back it will have the effect on it that you put in. But it means you can't get the levels right on the fly. You need to sort of know roughly what you need your settings to be, then maybe record a test track and play it back and make sure the sound is the way you want it, which I've already done. I've already plugged mine in. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with the sound that I'm getting through it. One last thing to tell you about NTSR in particular, that is that you can mix the track within the app itself and you can listen to the track within the app itself. It does have an export feature, you can send it to a friend by email, but be warned, it goes as separate tracks. So if you've recorded a electric guitar, an acoustic guitar and some vocals, and you send it to an email address, what you're, they're gonna receive is four tracks, one acoustic, one electric, two vocals. 
So it's not ideal, it won't come through as a mix. The mix will only be available within the app itself. Okay, so that's all the talking done for now. I need to dismantle my rig here so that I can use the camera to show you this stuff being used. But I'll put the mix over the top so you can see how this has all come together. It will be a verse and a chorus from one of my songs called I'm Fine Now. The full version of that song is available on my SoundCloud page, which is forward slash all things Bob. You can also find me on Facebook and on Twitter at the same forward slash all things Bob. Uh, and I've also got a website which is allthingsbob.co.uk, which is actually a Tumblr page so you can subscribe on there as well if you want to for more. Uh, I think that's everything for now. I'm bound to think of something that I'm going to have to set this all back up again for later, aren't I? That's going to be annoying. Anyway, I hope you've uh, found this useful. I'll see you next time. Cheers. I'm not